Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you a new tool called as RAG with TXT AI. If you don't know what TXT AI is, I already have covered it in great detail in various videos on my channel last year, this year. So please search the channel and you should be able to find a lot of content around it. In very short, TXT AI is a holistic tool to run large language models locally plus it also offers you some other benefits like RAG and some other things. But mainly it is quite an easy tool to run models locally and do RAG with it. Recently they have added this graph RAG functionality with TXT AI and that is what we are going to look at it in this video. Before I show you the installation of it and how to do the graph RAG with TXT AI, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Coming back to RAG with TXT AI, RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation and this RAG with TXT AI is a simple streamlit application backed by TXT AI tool. If you don't know what RAG is, in very short at high level, RAG enables you to give context about your own data to a large language model so that whenever a user asks a query from LLM about your data, LLM would have grounded information about it. And RAG helps generate factually correct content by limiting the context in which a LLM can generate answers. This is typically done with a search query that augments a prompt with a relevant context. There are two categories of RAG which is supported by this TXT RAG. First is vector RAG which is a traditional RAG where a user's query is converted into numerical representation just like the actual data of the user and then a similarity search is done through the vector store from the vector index. Then we have graph rag where we have these graphs with nodes and their edges or relationships. Nodes are entities and the context is supplied via a graph path traversal query. And these are the two primary ways which we will be seeing in this video. Now let's see how to get this installed. Let me take you to my terminal. So this is where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a Conda environment so that we will keep everything separate in a virtual environment. I'm just calling it TXT AI. Let's wait for it to run. And that is done. Let me clear the screen. Now the only requirement you should have um, already is docker installed. So I already have one of the latest version of docker. So make sure you have some recent version of docker installed. Okay, so that's done. Also make sure that you have given permission to this docker.soc file so that it uh, would be, we would be able to run the docker daemon here. Next up, let's git clone the repo of this txt ai with rag and then cd into it that is done and now in order to run with docker all you need to do is to run this command docker run then running it as a team and then putting it on all gpus and then mapping the local port with a container port with this container image and this is the latest one and this will be running by the default values later on i will also show you how to do it with your own customization so let me run it here and it is going to download all of this stuff here. Let's wait for it to finish. It is going to take three to four minutes. All the containers are installed and then it takes a bit of a time to get it running properly. When you access it in the browser at port 8501 on localhost, you will see that at first it is initializing the model and the vector data store locally so let's wait for it to finish and by the way uh, by default it uses mistral 7 billion 
open Orca uh, in the AWQ format and then it is just using some embedding um, model with txt ai wikipedia slim so let's wait for it to finish it takes a bit of a time to download model and set it up and now it is all initialized and running now in order to use it as i mentioned earlier there are two ways one is a traditional vector reg which is simply where we um, give it a query it runs a vector search to find the top and most relevant or similar matches to a user's input those matches are passed to an LLM and the answer is returned. For example, if I ask it, um, who is uh, Aristotle, and then we just press enter. So you see here the query who is Aristotle has run a vector search for the best matching document in the embedding index. And those matches are then placed into LLM's prompt. The LLM prompt is then executed and this is the answer we get. Now if you want to run a graph rag, how would you do that? There are a few methods here. For example, you can use their GQ um, mnemonic or the short query where you can see who is RS total and then you can just run it and it is I'm uh, going to use the graph rag, which is a new method that uses knowledge or semantic graphs. And it use that it uses is to generate a context instead of a vector search and graph path queries are run accordingly. Also, the graph rag in the context of this application supports this GQ. You can even um, go with some sort of philosophy to Mac OS to, you know, something like that. You can, which, what I mean is that you can just give it some concept and find the node that matches closest to the concept. For example, you can say here something like philosophy and then you can say Greek and then you can see top uh, maybe first. first. Let's see what it does. So this is just uh, I'm pointing it with a node traversal as how to go. So the, there you go, you see. So this is a graph it has produced where it has come up with all the similar entities that philosophy, ancient Greek, Greek language, and then all that stuff. So of course, if you would use a proper uh, traversal in order to reach to a specific philosopher, you can use that. You can also combine it. Um, let me try sh to show you how to combine both GQ and this node traversal. For instance, if I say it philosophy, Greece, ancient and then GQ, tell me about Aristotle. So let's see what it does here. I will let it run to also show you the actual speed it is doing on my NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let's wait for it to come back. There you go. So it is not that slow because it has to traverse the whole knowledge base and there you go so it has just created the nodes and their edges and relationship and then it has given us the answer back there you go so all the stuff is here and it has also drawn the whole graph tree on the basis of the information it has traversed now in, a, in another example let's see how we can give it our own data so first up, let me ask it who is Fahad Mirza. I don't think the model is aware of me. You see, it is it has just gone and I have no idea who that is. So it doesn't know about me. And so let's try to also ask it with GQ in the graph query to see if it is aware of me. GQ and then let's wait for it to come back. No, so it has. Yep, so it doesn't know about me. Okay. Now, in order to give it a context, there are two ways you can do it. If you want to give it a URL, just put hash sign and then the URL. Maybe I'll just put HTTP here. So this is, you see, it is adding the context to the index. This is one way of doing it. Or if you want to give it a text, you can also give the text. So let's wait for it to add it to the index. So it is just 
getting through the website and then storing the index there it is going to take a bit of a time by the way took around couple of minutes now in order to give the text all you need to do is to just give this like hash and then who Fahad Mirza is is this, this is just two liner on me so you see added also it added it here now if I go and ask this question in simple vector rag not this one my copy paste this okay so now in this is a simple traditional vector rag there you go you see now it has grounded response on the data which I have provided similarly let's check it with GQ let's wait for it to come back there you go okay you have no idea who is that okay I think it has mixed it there uh, both because I don't know who these guys are but it has tried to reach out to me but it has mixed some of the stuff from the I think from my website anyway so let's try this one AI YouTube computing GQ tell me about what means that. let's see what it does now let's wait for it okay so I have ran it with my own information as you can see I have given it this again I added my context I gave it this query same as this one but it was unable to find me so I think still um, early days of this application it need for simple queries or for the known ones it is able to produce the result from the context but if you try to give your own data sometime it works and sometime it doesn't so I think a um, lot of room for improvement here but all in all you can already sense that the concept is great and hopefully um, TX3 AI is going to improve this rag once it's done and it works flawlessly I think should be a good addition in terms of graph rag but all in all a really promising stuff I will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching